we have the red badge. Oh, his um, Homer farm. Did you drop this? This is these two young birds. <laughs> All the same pigeons seem to go mad. So the Homer farm. So I give them a spoonful from the box every day. On their rearing young birds. Big staff. different brands of breeding mixed together. This year I'm, uh, I'm using the Van Roby breeding exclusive number 38. I'm mixing it 50% Vizella Lager breeding uh, start plus. Mix them two together and like I say I feed them in the morning and in the evening. But I also always feed them by hand, that way I know the pigeons tell me that they've had enough and they're not going to leave and pick and choose. And I find that you, you rear a very healthy young bird that way of feeding. I'm not saying hopper feeding is not the way to go because that's convenient for some people but not for me. And uh, this is my widowwood section. So it's feeding time, I, feed, I only feed the pigeons twice a day when they're breeding, I don't leave food in front of them, I feed them in the boxes by hand to make sure that they eat every grain. Um, well I'm just not, I know there's many roads that lead, lead to Rome, but I'm, um, I'm a big believer, especially when they've got young birds, um, you feed them in the morning and at night it's uh, more than enough so they're not picking the best grains I make sure that they eat every grain and as you can see here they've just left a bit so we just got to make sure that the um, the young birds I find that if you feed them like that twice a day the young birds come on a lot better as you can see there's some newly hatched young birds here a couple of days old so these are my widowwood teams this is um, my daughter from my good breed racer breeder staff hopefully that's these grandchildren there hopefully they're going to um, take a prize or two for me here, I've got a son of the red badge with he's in. There, I'm going to the ship out. And here, I've got one of a brother's staff. And these have just chipped out. So, there's the shells. The eggshell. As you can see, he's protected with these young birds. Yeah, them if you can. They've just chipped out today. You can see how small they are. That's the eggshell. Giving me, um, giving me a bit of a beating. Want me to harm his babies. But as you can see, there they are. 
You can see how small they are. Not just yet. So he's going to have to leave them now because he's, um, he's getting a bit protective. Look. He will, he will protect his young birds. So there you go. But what I will show you is um, this Homer farm mix. I always give them a spoonful of this when they've got young birds after they've had the main corn. I put a spoonful on the box. So I put a spoonful on the box, like so. And the pigeons seem to go mad for it. Um, full of vitamins and everything else. So it is um, quite good for them. They just seem to love it, so we'll see. I'll just wait for the, uh, the fairy to go back up to that box and you'll see how much they love it. But these are my Widowwood males and females. I'll be racing the males this year. As you can see now, she found the, uh, the red stuff that I've put on the box. And you can see that she's, she'll just eat and eat and eat and eat as much as that red Homer farm is called. It's very good in uh, vitamins and nutrients for them young birds, but I only give them one spoonful a day. Uh, I don't give them any more than that. So that's the pair now. Half brother to big truck, yearling. And you can see that them, they're feeding young birds. The young birds there. Two healthy young birds. And they go mad for that um, Homer farm. They're all um, quite happy and content. And I'll just show you when I put a little bit of this on the floor. Uh, the pigeons go for it straight away. If there's something in it that traps them, they love it. It's uh, very good for them. They've had the main corn, you can see they've left some on the box, so I know that they've had, they've had enough. But what I will do when the youngsters are big, I put a, a gallery pot in, so I put a pot in into the box. And as the young ones get older, then I increase the protein in the mix and try and encourage them young birds to come out of the pan and start to eat for themselves. I like to wean them when they're about 22 to 24 days old. But when they're about 15, 16 days, I put a pot in the box that encourages them young birds to come and eat with their parents. And once I see them eating, then they, like I say, 22 days, 24 days, I'm ready to move them. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. And 
to be. 